Okay, now for question number 27 from the specimen paper 2 of the IGCSC new syllabus for 2020. Um, here we have a question about indices. They simplify 27 x to the power of 6, all of that to the power of a third. And when I, like, when I deal with these type of questions, I like to deal with the numbers separately and the letters separately. With the numbers, I like to use, uh, you know, square roots and powers. So 27 to the power of a third, if you remember the rule, a to the power of 1 over m is equal to that mth root of a. Okay, so this means the cube root of 27. And the cube root of 27 is equal to 3. Okay, so I've got a 3 for the main number. And when you deal with, um, you know, letters and indices, I like to think of this as a to the power of m raised to another power of n is equal to a to the power of the product of the two powers. So this will be x to the power of 6 times 1 third. And 6 times 1 third is 2. So it's x squared, so the answer is 3x squared. Okay, simple as that. Then it says find the value of 64x to the power of 4 to the power of a half times 4x to the power of minus 2. Now again, I'll just do the same thing. This is 64 to the power of 0.5, which is the same as to the power of a half. And this is x to the power of 4 to the power of a half, or you can call it 0.5 still, no problem, same thing. So this is going to give you the square root of 64, which is 8, and this is going to give you x to the power of 4 times a half is 2. So you have 8x squared times 4x to the power of minus 2. So you can say 8 times 4 is 32, and x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 2, well, they cancel out because you have to add the powers. You'll have x to the power of 2, okay, plus minus 2, which gives you 0. So you get 32x to the power of 0, which is 32x to the power of 0 is one remember. So there's the answer to part B. Okay, that's question number 27 and that's, we're almost at the end of the paper. The next question or the last question will be on the playlist which is linked in the description box below. Thank you for watching.